Good morning, 7-H. It's day 32 of at-home learning. Let's get things started with our First Nations Treaty Acknowledgement. Luminor School is located on the original lands of the Anishinaabe, Cree, OG Cree, Dakota, and Dene people, and on the homeland of the Métis Nation. We respect the treaties that were made on these territories, we acknowledge the harms and mistakes of the past, and we dedicate ourselves to move forward in partnership with Indigenous communities in a spirit of reconciliation and collaboration. <clears throat> and our 7-H Treaty of Respect. Remember, this extends to at-home learning, this extends to chats on the Hangout and Google Meet. We are 7-H. Today we will respect ourselves, respect each other, and respect our environment. We will celebrate our differences and work hard for equality in our classrooms. We aren't perfect, we can learn from the past, learn from our mistakes, and protect each other in the future. Think of others, talk kindly to ourselves, our classmates, our principals, our teachers, our EAs, our secretaries, our librarian, our custodians, and our students. Encourage, collaborate, and include. Stay organized, ask for help, offer help, be a role model, strive for a good reputation, make someone's day better, leave our environment in better shape than how we found it. We are 7-H. Um, today, we are working on city number eight on the road trip. Planning your budget for city number eight on your road trip. Um, and in math, 30 minutes in Khan Academy, on the geometry unit. This geometry unit will be closed this Friday, FYI. Also, reminder, uh, it would be really great to do your best to try to get uh, caught up with the road trip um, because next week we're gonna be starting part C and it would be great for some of you to kind of be doing that along with each other. Um, like I said, I hope you're all doing well. Um, if you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling tired, take a nap, relax, go for a walk, Get some fresh air. Uh, you might want to bundle up or take an umbrella with you today. Um, but don't let this season get to you, this corona season. I know it's hard, um, and you must be feeling very bored and sometimes stressed. Um, but we have to do our best to take care of ourselves. So if you're not feeling like you can get any work to done or work done today, or if you're feeling like it's too much, um, just take a break. Uh, do some drawing. Do some reading. Uh, play some video games if that's something that relaxes you. Get your mind off what you're thinking about and uh, try to refresh yourself the best you can. Um, again, I'm online all day long. It's always nice to hear from you guys, so chat or um, video chat with me. Uh, I'm happy to help you with anything that you're having trouble with, any subject, uh, English, math, social studies, science, whatever you're working on. If you want to chat, I'm around. Um, Hope you're doing well. This thing behind me is the thing that I'd like you to figure out today. So if you could figure out what this sculpture is called, the official name of this sculpture behind me, and no, it's not the bean. Um, as you can probably read, if you can read in reverse, this says Chicago Tribune. So this photograph that I'm using as my background is from the Chicago Tribune newspaper. That's your first hint. Now, you need to figure out what the name of this is, and then I'd love bonus marks for anyone that can tell me the connection between the artist that created this sculpture and if they have any connection to Winnipeg. Because there is a connection between the sculptor that created this and something that they may have input in in Winnipeg. Very interesting, okay? So, figure out the name of this sculpture and then see if you can find a connection between the artist that created this sculpture and Winnipeg. Have an awesome day. Hopefully I'll see you at the classroom chat at 10 o'clock. See you later. Bye.